Welcome to the IC3D Tutorial Video Displacement Mapping Part 2 – Applying Displacement Maps to Cartons In the Displacement Mapping Tutorial Part 1, we applied an emboss or deboss effect to a solid model, like a glass bottle. In this tutorial, we will apply the effect to a carton. Start by linking your carton to Adobe Illustrator and applying your graphics to the carton die line. Again, in the areas where you want to create bump effects, you will need to apply spot colors. Once you have completed your design, update IC3D. Apply a gold chrome spot material effect to the carton for the specified spot color, using the layers panel in the usual way within IC3D. And apply a bump depth to your effect. From the template library, click and drag the Bump Displacement template onto the scene. This will again open the Bump Displacement control panel. Create the desired displacement effect as shown in the previous tutorial. You will notice the carton options can be turned on by clicking on the checkbox. This option will apply an inverse displacement onto the back of your carton in the location that this effect is being applied to. Once you are happy with the displacement effect, click the Save to Model button in the bottom right corner of the screen. You can now see the effect displayed on your carton model. If you open the box, you can see the inverse effect on the back side of the carton material. You can now export your finished model using one of our usual export methods. You may want to see a quick preview of what your model would look like as a ray traced render. This concludes the IC3D tutorial video, Displacement Mapping Part 2, Applying Displacement Maps to Cartons.